I'm Dr. Nita Rattan and this channel is dedicated to skincare for skin of colour. As you know, I'm a doctor but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. So today's video is how do we put together a routine from Paula's Choice for anti-aging and anti-pigmentation for skin of colour. If that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up, let's dive right in. Now, what happens as we age? As we age, two main things happen. Number one, we have less glucose aminoglycans, that those are the water magnets that basically hold water in the top layer of skin and that's why your skin feels drier, um, it looks duller and you, you get superficial wrinkles faster. People really do underestimate how important hydration and moisturization is as we age. So that's the first thing that happens. The second thing that happens for skin of colour is that we tend to get more pigmentation. Either the skin looks duller or the whole face goes darker or we get little brown marks on the cheeks and they then amalgamate, they you know basically form patches and then they spread across the face. So actually anti-aging for skin of colour is very different to an anti-aging product for Caucasian skin. Because for, for Caucasian skin, they really need to be focusing more on peptides and stimulating collagen. Whereas for us, we need to be focused more on hydration and tyrosinase inhibitors to reduce hyperpigmentation. And this is the reason why an anti-aging cream that you find sitting on a shelf in your local drugstore is unlikely to benefit you much if you have skin of color. And this is the reason this whole channel exists, so that you are educated and empowered when it comes to skincare. You can turn and look at the back of your ingredients. You can see what exactly is in the product, not just go with what the marketing bump says because often what the marketing says is not what is in the product. In fact, um, I'm not gonna name the brand, but um, I, a few months ago did a review of a very well-known brand it was an anti-aging cream and there was not a single anti-aging ingredient in the entire product but it was an expensive product and all the marketing was geared towards anti-aging what i'm trying to create here is our community of dr v inky hackers inky stands for i-n-c-i inky means is the ingredients list at the back of the packaging so for example this is the um dr v facial pigmentation kit if you look at the back here these ingredients, that's called the inky list. And you should be able, if you've watched 10 of my videos, you should be able to look at your own products and decode what half of it means. You should also be helping your loved ones with their skincare. That's a typical trait of a Dr. V Inky Hacker. The other traits are that you basically have the best skin of your life and you don't waste any money on marketing. So my aim is to create as many Dr. V Inky Hackers as possible because this very strange phenomenon happens that as this channel grows and as you guys become more empowered and you vote with your money, brands start to listen. It's It really is phenomenal and suddenly brands will come to me and say, can you help me with this formula, help me with this formula, and I will help for free because my aim is to make sure that you have access to the best skincare possible. Right, so Paula's Choice, I actually really love this brand and I talk about it all the time. If you go and follow me on Instagram as well, you'll see uh, Dr. V approved products. Again, nothing has ever been sponsored, nothing will ever be sponsored. It is based fully on the product and the ingredients. I love Paula's Choice and a lot of their products come up. Um, I wouldn't say I love every single one of their products, so do watch the Paula's Choice video if you want to know which ones I would say to avoid. Um, but today's video is really putting together the routine for anti-aging. So because we lose hyaluronic acid, number one, we want more humectants in our skincare, so things like glycerin, urea, um, sodium hyaluronate. Number two, we tend to get more inflammation as we age in our skin. So we want to use and look for anti-inflammatories, things like aloe or panthenol. And the third category of ingredients I want you to start using are tyrosinase inhibitors. Those are the ingredients that slow down the melanocyte and help with your hyperpigmentation. Those are the three ingredients that we need in our anti-aging skincare routine, specifically for skin of color. So tyrosinase inhibitors include things like vitamin C, alpha arbutin, licorice extract. Now I would say Paula's Choice um, doesn't really specialize in pigmentation and so they don't have that many products that 
have been designed for pigmentation. So I've done my best with what they have and I've gi I'm giving you other options uh, from cheap brands as well, uh, more affordable brands as well to plug that gap in this routine. So your AM routine, first of all, you wash with the hydrating cleanser, uh, for example, resist anti-aging hydrating cleanser. The number one mistake people make is that they strip their skin, they overwash their skin, or they're using cleansers with surfactants that are too harsh. So this is very important, especially for aging skin that is already dry and is already looking dull, is choosing the right uh, cleanser. So I really like this cleanser. The next thing I would say for your toner is to use uh, one that's water-based because it can dissolve more actives in it. So I like their Resist Anti-Aging uh, Toner. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, green tea extract, lots of skin restorers and antioxidants. So it's, it's not gonna dry your skin. The biggest mistake you make with toners is using one with denatured alcohol in it. So it gives you that quick dry feeling, but at the same time, you're basically uh, water is evaporating from your skin too so that dries your skin again this is the opposite of what we're trying to achieve so make sure your products are nafe safe no denatured alcohol no fragrance no essential oils for your spf 50 um i do tend to prefer mineral sunscreens but they don't have a mineral sunscreen instead they've got the spf 50 moisturizing chemical sunscreen i do like a few things about it number one it is nafe safe it is spf 50 which i'm always always going to urge you to to buy um, it is invisible on skin of color. So it's actually one of my favorite chemical sunscreens for skin of color. Um, considering I generally don't, I prefer uh, mineral over chemical, um, this would be one of my favorite chemical sunscreens. Okay, so the next uh, in the evening, so your PM is again, cleanse with your resist anti-aging hydrating cleanser, then tone using the same tone, your replenishing toner, the resist um, version. And then uh, chemical exfoliation. So you, you are going to have a mini heart attack now because I'm about to tell you to use a 5% AHA glycolic uh, daily smoothing treatment. So as you know, I would say up to 5% is fine for glycolic acid. It's just I've never recommended a glycolic acid product before, I think. Um, this may well be the first. Um, I do like that it's nafe safe as well. So it's got no DNH alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils, and it's 5%. So I'm happy with that. The only thing I would say is that I would use, I wouldn't, this. I would change and modify the instructions a little bit for skin of color. I would say um, use it at night, uh, wash it off after five to 10 minutes because I'd like you to basically remove the top layer of dead skin and improve penetration of the ingredients, the actives I'm about to tell you. So even though the website tells you to leave it on all night, I probably wouldn't recommend that for skin of color. I would say it do, you know, five, 10, even up to 20 minutes then rinse it off your skin is going to look brighter because you basically dissolved the bonds that are holding the, the dead skin cells together and then you've washed it off and sloughed off all the dead skin cells so immediately your skin is going to look brighter and you're going to have better penetration of actives um, so that's the only thing I would change is I'm happy with the product, but the instructions I would modify. Now, if your main issue is anti-aging, then the day you've exfoliated, I'm happy for you to use the um, peptide booster to stimulate collagen. If your main issue is pigmentation, then they actually don't have any serums that I would recommend to wear after you've exfoliated that are tyrosinase inhibitors. I'd rather you purchase alpha arbutin from The Ordinary um, and use that on the skin if pigmentation is your main issue. So I know we're focusing on poreless trace today, but um, alpha arbutin is fairly easy to get hold of, and I just want you to tailor it to your skin. And on the days that you are not exfoliating, I would be happy for you to use the 0.3% retinol because it's anti-aging um, and it's great for pigmentation too. It's also an antioxidant then you must moisturize because once you put your serums on some people forget to moisturize they think that their skin feels wet enough the problem is that those serums that you've applied to your skin tend to have a high water content and water evaporates from your skin actually you need to have an emulsion which is a cream um, that is going to trap water on the skin so you're creating a healing environment for your skin for the actives to work in its optimal environment at night time without any assault taking place from uv um, wind etc so don't forget to moisturize i do like the anti-age clear skin hydrator with vitamin c niacinamide and green tea extract um, this is this routine is great for dull aging skin 
I'm hoping that that is going to give you the perfect dream skin that you want. But if hyperpigmentation is more of an issue for you, then this is unlikely to shift that. Uh, the reason being that for skin of colour, we really need a cocktail of tyrosinase inhibitors, there are about eight to ten different tyrosinase inhibitors um, at the correct percentages to lighten hyperpigmentation. So try this for, you know, three to six months. If you're happy and you have the perfect skin, great, you just stop there and you continue with that. If, however, you're, you've still got the hyperpigmentation and it's affecting your, your confidence, then you can upgrade to the facial pigmentation kit. That's the Dr. V facial pigmentation kit from Skincare by Dr. V. And that's got eight to 10 tyrosinase inhibitors specifically for skin of color. So hopefully you don't need to get that and that's fine. But I basically created it because I wanted an option for my global skin of color family to be able to upgrade to something, you know, these single actives or you know two or three actives together may help for some people but the vast majority it's probably not gonna help with pigmentation that's been there for a long time especially if it's dark and stubborn so i just wanted you to have an option right don't forget to download your free guide link is down below don't forget i'm in the comment section for one hour of the launch of every single video so please be here so i can answer your questions don't forget to follow me on instagram at the hyperpigmentation clinic and skincare by dr v and on tiktok dr me thank you very much for watching